So guys, there is Woody. So yesterday we came out the new update for the Oculus, the Oculus Dash or Oculus Core 2.0, and it's still a beta, but adds a lot of feature and it's very stable. I want to give you some impression and comparison with the Cliff House. So let's get in. Okay, let's start. So it's super super fast. We just in the Dash. That is the new update for Oculus, it's the Oculus Dash or Oculus Core 2.0 and here we have our house that just loaded with this amazing effect and we are in the house. You can personalize your house as you want, so put furniture and everything, we're gonna see it in a moment. Now I wanna show you very fast the option in the new option in the dash so we start from here with the recently played we have the explore that is the um, kind of what was oculus before it's kind of the same menu actually with friends and the recent play again then we have the library with the game installed all the game and stuff social with our friends request and party uh, guys, add me on Oculus. No worries. Fireboot here is the name. Notification if we have any notification. Settings. And this is the part that I actually like better because here we can finally change while we are inside the Oculus without going to desktop and stuff to like where we want to play the audio. Uh, or which microphone to use and that's great and here we have boundaries and everything like before and then we can get to home to go back home from everywhere or to the store let's just jump to the store they did this weird thing that they actually bring in another place where you can't teleport anymore from the store that makes it kind of like um, I don't know, kind of very slow and actually the store is like before but the good thing about the store now is that we can actually finally see the review from inside VR and that's great. Let's stop here. So let's jump back to home in a second. Transaction. and here we are back home so this is what we could consider the rift cliff house so a kind of the cliff house by uh, oculus and it's actually pretty cool and very very well done what we can do is like move everything and interact finally with stuff because the thing that wasn't it's not so great about the cliff house is that we can't really interact with anything um, kind of you can put holograms down but we just push a button and they do everything by themselves here finally here finally we can have um, interaction so like there I have a bow I can take my bow and shoot my bow to the targets over there and there's actually good physics too um, as you can see i'm using just one camera so if you see some tracking loss is because i am actually in the desktop um, i'm using my computer with a 1080 and not the laptop because with the laptop everything is very very blurry my laptop has the 1060 I just think that this home is using a lot of power because it gets very very blurry with the lower graphic card so here we have everything we can play ping pong we can play basketball and to bring up all the objects we just tap on start or on our wrist over here that is pretty cool and we go over here we can grab stuff and try to do a tree but i didn't and we have all the object 
decoration, environment, stuff, library. So we can change environment very quick. Like I like this because this is actually the same place we were in uh, in the one of the first Oculus experience, and these are the other environments. It's very cool this window thing. So we can just grab on it and we get like here or in the space. Change the sounds too, very, very nice. And here we have friends because we can go over to somebody else's house uh, and that's pretty cool. Or option. Uh, so we have graphic, environment placement and a group and everything. But we're gonna skip that because uh, the most important thing for me right now is this. Oh, now we have the desktop, finally. Sorry for the VR inception. Uh, we have actually the desktop, so we can use finally every app in, um, in VR. And that's great, that's great really a real multitasking. Uh, but the difference between here and the cliff house is like I can grab everything and take every app even as you can see just desktop, desktop apps and put it everywhere and just use it from I can put a lot of screen if I want I can open uh, mail I can open um, and put it there I can open edge to have a browser page and we put it there and it's super super cool what you can also do is to pin everything so when we get back so we press again our windows are gonna stay there and that's amazing because this is gonna work also in the game and I'm gonna show you in a moment when we can we can't use it now but we have to go back to the dash to use them and actually it's pretty good uh, are readable when are pretty close and that's the trick the oculus is doing uh, instead of um, on the cliff house where everything is pretty far so we are able to almost touch we can also use it like it, it was a, a touch screen and that's great and we can also write and the keyboard, we can just press here for the keyboard, is gonna come up like the Windows keyboard. And that's pretty cool because we just we just write like a, like a touch keyboard and then we can close. But let's jump in a game in a way that yeah, really, really impressed me. That is, let's go in the living room. Uh, this this one this is genius or who comes from the cartridge era like me is gonna appreciate so every game we can have every game in the in the cartridge and then what we do if we just pull it in our oculus console sorry for the tracking i have to move a little and then we push it's gonna come up our rift and we put the rift on and get in the game Okay, here we are in Minecraft. They skipped the menu part, so it kind of um, faster. And now the game, of course, is always the same. What's gonna be different? And when we press the dash, we are gonna have this dash and not going to the wide screen like before. But the game is gonna keep working. Uh, probably something that they're gonna fix later. Um, what you have to do that is better is just stop with a start and then get in the dash and what we can do is like we can use everything again so like if we have my explorer open i can still use my explorer and that's great but the best thing is that i can pin everything and go back to the game and my window is gonna be keep gonna be still open even when I'm playing so imagine this like I'm playing Minecraft I want a Wikipedia to see how to build something I can put it there or I wanted to watch a video while I'm doing it I'm very very free to do it but 
I don't think that Minecraft is the best game to show this. So let's jump in another game to see the real potential. And here we are in Elite Dangerous. I think it's the best game to show up the potential of this Rift Core 2.0 or the Dash. Because this can kind of slow can be a kind of slow game during traveling and stuff. So what can be better than just watch a video during that? So what we can do is just open the dash and we can just open our YouTube and put YouTube over there and we pin it. We can also just imagine to we have all the computer ready so we can take our Twitter and put Twitter there or we can have a chat like a WhatsApp or a Skype chat open. Uh, email, uh, notification, every kind, like all the computers gonna be ready for us. So I jump back to the game now and we're just gonna have stuff in there so we can watch our video and stuff. Imagine like we want to see a Netflix series but you want to play too. Now you can do both together and that's kind of dangerous and great. It's like an elite feature and <laughs> that's that's something that right now is just on the rift and it can be considered for sure the killer feature right now. And here we are back. So this is, was my first tour in the Oculus Core 2.0 or the Oculus Dash. And for me, it's really the step up in the right direction for VR because finally we can just multitask and open every windows, every part of our computer without having just the desktop over there, but we can actually put it in VR, in our reality. And that's what we need. And that's what VR should be to have possibility, endless possibility. And that's great, not just in gaming, but also like if you think about like real, you're creating something and you want to talk with somebody on Skype and stuff like open just so many possibilities that before there were not. Uh, it's still a beta, so it just can get better, and that's just great. And I hope then all the other are gonna follow the flow and the competition. So if you like the video, like. If you didn't like the video, dislike. But leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about it, and subscribe to the channel for more about VR and tech in general. Ciao.